how do you start a vending machine business, right? I'm talking about like snacks. I'm talking about gumballs. I'm talking about every single thing, every single vending machine you see out there. There's a way to actually buy those things and actually sell it yourself and actually make passive income every single month and actually not have to do anything except actually just going and picking up the actual money, I guess, right? And the reason I'm doing a video for the sole purpose of actually explaining everything is because I'm tired of seeing all these YouTubers make videos about, well, there's seven ways to make money. There's 10 ways to do this. There's 10 ways to do that. And they don't give you any details and actually how to get started, how much it costs to do it. What are going to be the challenges? Like how much money are you going to make? You know, I want to make a video that tells you and answers all of these questions. So, okay. So let's get, okay. So let's get right into the video, right? So the first things I'm actually going to talk about in this video are the startup cost of the business, right? And that means like how much money is it actually going to take to start the business, right? How much money is it going to take to buy the products, the merchandise and everything like that, right? And the second thing is the profits. How much money are you going to make? It's one of the most important things. People start businesses all the time without worrying about the profits. How much money are they going to make? How are they going to get customers and all these things, right? And the third is the expenses because although you might be worried about how much money you're going to make, well, how much money are you going to spend to make that money, right? Because, you know, you make money and you subtract the expenses and that's how you get profits, which is what you get to keep in your pocket. You know what I mean? And the fourth thing is the challenges, you know? What's going to be the most challenging thing about starting a business like this, right? Because it's a very simple business. And for everyone out there that's probably saying, Tommy, I don't want to start a business that's only going to make me around $10 a month. Well, I can tell you to go do real estate. And then you're going to tell me, well, Tommy, I don't have $40,000 to do a down payment. And I'm going to say like, yeah, because it costs a lot of money to make a lot more money, right? Because more money, if you make bigger investments and you get bigger rewards, you make small ones, you get you know, smaller rewards, but you get experience in a sense, right? So you don't get hurt any type of way as you start in this business. So let's get right into the video, right? So the first thing is the startup cost. How much does it actually cost to get started into this business? So I made sure to actually link down below the gumball machine and the actual gumballs and how much it actually costs and the website and all that stuff. So you need to be like Google searching and all type of stuff. Like all the information is down there. So the first thing is the gumball machine, right? How much does it cost? How much does the actual vending machine cost? So let's do the math. If you go to the website, it shows you that it costs around $109. And this is for one head. So like one gumball machine head. If you want to buy like a triple one that has like three heads, you could put like M&M, Skittles, and then gumballs that cost like around 300, 400, even 500. Just start small. Don't go too fancy because you just want to check and see how it actually works, right? So it costs $109, right? So we got $109 right here. And the actual gumballs, to so actually buy them, it only costs around $36. And here's the thing, right? it comes with around 850 gumballs. And here's the other thing. You know that on average, we sell the gumballs for 25 cents. That's standard. It's like one quarter. Since I was a kid, you put one quarter in and you get a gumball machine. I think the prices are ever gonna go up or ever gonna go down, right? It's one quarter. If we take 830, right? if we take $36, right? That's how much it costs us. And we divide it by 850, which is how much it comes with. That means that we are getting each gumball for around four cents. So it means that 0.25 divided by 0.04. So that means we're making around 6.25 our money. That's almost 10x, you know, like Grant Cardone. But it's 6.25. That's a very, very good profit margin. It's like very good, right? So let's talk about the actual profits. That's the second thing. We know what the startup cost is. The startup cost is 109 plus $36. It's only $145 that you actually need to start this business. You don't need $1,000. You don't need $10,000. You don't need $40,000. You don't need any of that money. All you need is $145. If you don't have that type of money, literally just go do some surveys, go donate blood, go donate plasma, and I guarantee you that in one week, you're going to have the money to actually get started into this business. Now, let's do the profits because I know that's one of the most important things that you guys are probably wondering and are curious about, right? So here's the thing, right? Each gumball machine holds around 400 balls, right? And if you want to sell all the balls, right, in one month, I'm going to say gumballs. I don't want to say balls. It sounds kind of weird. So gumballs, right? If you want to sell 400 gumballs in one month, you just got to divide it by 30. That means you have to sell on average 14 gumballs a day. That's not that bad if you put it in a good location. Imagine like if you put this like, right? Imagine if you put this like in a deli or like a supermarket that's right next to a school or a store that's right next to a school or like a 7-Eleven or a gas station that always has like change and all that type of stuff. Imagine how many kids are going to come over and they're actually going to buy the gumballs. So I think 14 is not that hard to do, right? 
So if you sell 400 gumballs uh, a month, we times that by 0.25 because that's how much we're going to sell it for, we get $100. That means our profit is $100, right? Which sounds very good, right? Imagine you have five of these machines. Well, now you're making $500 of passive income without having to do anything. All you have to do is every single month, you come in, you refill, and you take the money out and you're gone, right? But let's talk about something that's very important also, which is the expenses of the business. Because I feel like a lot of people never mention the expenses of the business. You know, like, for example, every single person out there that does an Instagram ad or a YouTube ad or a Facebook ad is always telling you, start a Shopify store. This person did $30,000 in sales, but what they don't tell you that the profit margin is around 3.5% or even 10%. Check this out. Well, so-and-so did $30,000 in sales, right? Well, $30,000 um, times 0.10%, that means they only made 3,000, right? And let's say the profit margin is 3.5%, 30,000 times 0.035, well, that person only made $1,050. The reason I'm doing this right now is to tell you guys that there are a lot of people out there that don't give you all the information. So I wanna make sure that in this video, I give you all the information you absolutely need, right? So the expenses of this business are very simple. There are really only like two expenses, you know? Like the first expense is actually buying the product, like buying the gumballs is around like, like $36, you get 850, you can reload it for two months or like a month, or like two months and a half or something like that, depending on how much it sells. And the second expense is the location expense, right? Because for example, if I own a business, how are you gonna persuade me to put your gumball machine there without giving me any money or anything in return, right? So what I would recommend is you go in there and you say, well, on average, we give the person between five to 10%, right? You say five to 10%, so they kinda have like this average in their head. You put this low anchor. Remember when I told you guys how to negotiate? You put a low anchor of five to 10%, and they're probably gonna say, well, I want 10%. You say, uh, it's kinda hard, but okay, right? But you were shooting for 10% all along, right? So if you made $100 that month, check this out. So you made $100 that month. Um, so you're going to do 100 times 0.10%. Well, it's only $10. So you don't have to pay commission of $10. So you still have $90, right? And the cost of the of the gumballs, like you sold half of them, right? So it's 36 divided by 2. That's $18. 18 plus the cost of the, of the location, that's $10. That's $28. You made $100. By the way, I know this gives me a negative number, but I just don't care to actually just put it right back in. So you made a $72 profit, which is very good. So if you have five machines times five, that's $360 every single month in passive income. And that's very good. That's fair, right? And one of the challenges of this business is the location part. Like if you put it in a location that sucks, then you're probably not going to get any sales. You're probably not going to get anyone to actually buy it from you. Like if you if you put it in like an old person like center and like most of them don't have any teeth and you're probably trying to sell them gumballs that are pretty hard to chew on, like you're probably not going to get anyone to actually buy it from you. So don't do that. Like, and by the way, it's a gumball machine. So if it's not working, then you just grab it and put it somewhere else and you try that location out, right? But guys, I know for a fact this is a small idea, and eventually I'm gonna be doing like, um, for example, like I did Gumballs now. Maybe tomorrow I'll do Shopify. Like maybe tomorrow I'll do like eBay, drop shipping. Like it doesn't matter. Maybe I do real estate later on. You know what I mean? But I just wanna like slowly escalate, and I want you guys to give me ideas too on what video I can actually do next. And here's my main thing, right? I believe that no matter how small the business is, there's always room for growth, like exponential growth, right? So for example, if you want to be like a super entrepreneur and you just want to make a ton of money and you want gumballs to be like your sole purpose and your passion, then I recommend you do this to scale it up, right? And by the way, for every single person that's laughing out there, I want, I want you guys to know this, right? You can, you can go research it. Warren Buffett used to do this back in his days. And he used to do pinball machines and a whole bunch of little things to actually make him money. And he read a book, I think it's called like A Thousand Ways to Make a Thousand Dollars, which equal one million dollars. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of small ways to actually get started in business. And by the way, here's how you actually scale it up, right? Say for example, you make a company, right? And you hire like two people to go collect the money and and you hire like one person or two people to actually reload the machines and one to actually collect the money, right? Boom, right? So you got two employees now and you have a thousand locations, right? Check this out. 1,000 locations, right? And each location is making you $100 every single month. That's $100,000 a month, right? And minus the expenses and everything like that. So you make around $72 for each location, right? So that's 72 times 1,000. That's around $72,000 every single month 
from 1,000 locations. You pay the employees, you do whatever you have to do, and you still make like a ton of money. Like you still make $72,000. That's a lot of money. So whatever business idea you have, the entire thing is how do you scale it up? The only way to actually scale a business up like this and actually have it still remain like um, passive is by having employees. If you get employees like a few 10 or maybe 15 employees to actually do this job and you pay each employee like say like maybe you pay them like each like two thousand dollars a month each employee right and you, you charge them and you pay them like two thousand dollars a month so you have like um you have like 10 employees that's like twenty thousand dollars on employee minus the the profit that you make seventy two thousand you're still making fifty thousand dollars a month bro so there's a lot of money out there so don't think it's because it's a small idea, you can't actually expand on it. Guys, my name is Tony Bryson. That's all I have for this video. If you guys learned anything or want to try anything, make sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys want me to do next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe, like, and comment and do all the stuff because every single comment gets the video a thousand views. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it out. I'll see you guys next time and peace. You've got to start at the bottom if you ever gonna reach the top. You've got to watch your